to use linear impulse, better called linear impulse, angular impulse, linear impulse. That we are going to discuss the linear impulse here. Now, as we know that the force F is equal to dP bar by dt, then this F dt is equal to dP bar. Let me integrate on both sides. F bar dt is equal to dP bar. Then this is the interval of time. So 0 to delta t, you write it. This interval will be very small. This will be pi, pf. Initial momentum of system, let it be pi. Final momentum, let it be pf. So therefore, this will become j. Or, or time being, let it be as it is. f bar dt, 0 to delta t. This will be pf minus pi. So what is impulse? An impulse is equal to change in momentum. Or this will be pi integral of f bar dt 0 to delta t equal to pf a, a very generalized form of this is pi plus that everything is what I'll call j equal to pf or in generalized form is this one. Initial momentum equal to plus or minus j equal to plus or minus f that one. The impulse can be positive or negative. So when an impulse acts on a body, there'll be a change in momentum. An impulse acts on a body, there'll be a change in momentum. So th this can we rewrite once again. So pf minus pi, what it should be equal to delta p. When an impulse acts on a body, there'll be a change in momentum. Now, what is impulse? Force acting for duration of time. Again, there are four ways we can categorize. No? Large force acting for small duration of time. So which force under what conditions an impulse is set up? Means first case, large force acting for small duration of time. Second one, large force acting for large duration of time. Third situation, small force acting for large duration of time. Fourth one small force acting for small duration of time. Okay, and the, uh, which force will set up an impulse? Only the large force acting for large force acting for small duration of time, what happen will set up an impulse here, a according to the basic definition. Large force acting for small duration of time will set up an basically an impulse. This is something very important huh? because now the idea of impulse matters a lot. So till now, we are bothered about the force, but most of the problems in physics are involved with the the impulse idea. That one means now uh, th there's a basic idea. So what are the examples of like impulse? Sir? I'm pushing a body. Did I I push a body for? I'll apply force of 10 Newton for one minute or say like a for 10 minutes or say like a for half an hour. Is it an impulse? You can use this formula, but don't call it impulse. Still, you can use this formula. There, there's nothing is there. Still, what happened? The body is initially moving. You apply the force. And if you are applying a time varying force, substitute that integrate. This impulse momentum equation is applicable irrespective of any of this force situation. I, I'm making clear. But what happened? We are calling the impulse when when large force acting for small duration. A good example, carom board. You'll strike the striker, no? You'll you'll push the striker. So there, what happened? Are you permitted the push to push the striker till all, or only at that point you have to strike and take out your finger? Only you have to strike out and take it out. And giving slap, giving punch, in cricket, eating the ball with bat, in football, kicking, or you can do one thing, just strike the wall or, or strike the table like this. This is an impulse or, or clapping. 
or say like a clapping all these are the impulses impulse means like force acting for large force acting for small duration of time now, now the, I, i'm pushing my hands that one you can see that one I, i'm pushing it this will not be impulse this should be an impulse that one so like this you do it this will be impulse here slap it this will be impulse are you getting the idea now so we have plenty of examples of an impulse here so there is a force acting for certain amount of time and suddenly force acting it makes a lot of difference so we are categorizing that nature of force now which is going to act here i am i am just making things simple we are categorizing the nature of force that is acting okay fine Uh, now, uh, how to uh, this about definition? What can be <coughs> unit for impulse? What are the unit for impulse? What are the basic units for impulse here? Force into time, so newton second, or momentum, kg meter per second. Uh, either of things you can use kg. meter per second so this is the unit for newton seconds or kg meter per second this is the unit for an impulse now then after this uh, the, okay now uh, what are the examples uh, already i gave all, all these are the examples so let's see that how how to do numericals when impulse acts on your body so let's take first an example an object is the rest an impulse acts on it then it starts moving it starts moving so then what is the uh, impulse now so i can i'll i'll pick up this one initial momentum mu plus j equal to mv look at you initiate the test m into 0 So what is the velocity of the body? How much of impulse applied by the mass will be the the uh, how much of impulse by the mass will give the final velocity? Now what is this time? Fraction of seconds, micro or milliseconds. What when the force is applied? Now next situation. If body already having initial velocity and an impulse acts. and it will acquire a resultant velocity v now the equation will become mu how the impulse is acting in the direction of motion in the direction of initial momentum so therefore that impulse you have to take it positive and finally look at the final momentum it is there in the direction of initial momentum so therefore that should be positive so when to give sign if the initial moment if the final momentum in the direction of initial momentum the final momentum should be taken positive if the impulse acting on system is in the direction of initial momentum then the impulse should be taken as positive now there is a body of block of mass m moving with the velocity u and impulse acts in this direction then it will acquire velocity v so then what is the equation mu minus j Equal to plus m v. Well, y minus g opposite to initial momentum. Okay, next we'll take. Body is moving with a velocity u towards right, and impulse will act. Due to impulse, it will. change direction of motion so mu minus j equal to minus mv is it fine so like this the sign for j for initial impulse and final momentum depends upon with respect to initial momentum now sir what happens if the impulse doesn't acts in the line of action of initial velocity so let's take the two dimension so if an object is moving Let, let me cover here only so that uh, when we go for two dimensional collision exclusively we need idea of these things
this is a block this is moving on a surface this one top view this is top view what we have seen all is this is a side view different so ear and impulse will act like this uh, this is the surface uh, able, able to understand this we are seeing it from top because there is a 2d 3d no how mg will act into the plane of paper now because of this the body what will happen now will move in a plane now along x axis mu so this is jy you write it mu uh, any impulse acts along x axis check it impulse along x axis is zero so therefore bx mu plus j equal to mvx so vx equal to u then along y axis initial momentum along y axis impulse will act and mvy initial velocity along y axis zero and j is non zero so therefore this will be m zero j y equal to mvy Okay, like this will happen. We are getting the required answers. How do the body will move? Body will move in a plane. Suppose uh, you are running. You you are running in the direction. In school, you might have explained this. You are running in the direction. Somebody pushes you. What will happen? You will start moving like this, no? Am I right? You will start moving like this, and that is what here. So, what is that angle? Yes, you can determine. Once you know v y and u, you can find out that angle. No, so what is the angle? Uh, how much of angle the direction of motion makes it? So this this you can find out theta. How to calculate theta? Tan theta equal to v y by v x. So th this will discuss exclusively in. Two dimensional collision. So just time being, I give that one because now this week is only one dimensional. So I'll I'll stop the discussion for two dimensional impulse here only. Just I give idea because any numerical next week what happen? We are going to focus on them. This this week only one dimensional collision. Okay, there's overall basic idea of an impulse. So when impulse acts on a body, <laughs> what do we expect? There'll be change in momentum. So how to identify whether impulse acts or not? How to identify that one? Directly check for forces. How to check forces acting or not? So who will be able to take it? We should take help of. We should take help of Ohm. Uh, again, the free body diagram. So go back to laws of motion. Various forces that are acting. Then you can check that particular thing. Whether impulse acts on a object or not. Okay, fine. So, what is the basic idea? The impulse is very important to discuss the collision concept. Just I introduce briefly. Okay, let's come to the uh, the type of collision. Um, before type of collision, the two objects are there. They collide. These are the two spheres are there. They'll collide here. Now, when they when they collide, and what is the time for which they'll be in contact? Fraction of time. Suppose 